Hi there, in this quick tips video, we're going to bring individual kit parts out into their own track inside of Cubase and apply Alan Morgan channel strip presets over the top of them to help shape the sound. To start with, I'm assigning individual outputs to every member of the group in the mixer menu. You'll notice there's a little warning triangle at the top right hand corner. That will go away once I assign individual outputs out in VST instruments. I'm even assigning individual outputs to the overheads, the room, and the resonance channels. If you want, you can also assign individual outputs to the auxiliary channels and the master effects. Once we've finished assigning the outputs in the instrument, we go over to VST instrument racks and click on the little arrow on the right hand side of Groove Agent SE4. Turn on all outputs, and now all of the outputs are activated in the mixer. When we go and find our channels for Groove Agent SE4, we can solo individual channels and you can see they are all coming through their own unique channels. The next thing to do is to quickly name them. You should name them in the same order as they were in, in Groove Agent SE4. Once we've finished naming our tracks, we can go and solo individual kit pieces and then go and have a look at some of the channel strips Alan Morgan has designed specifically for use in Cubase. I'm soloing the kit. I'm going up to the strip menu and then click on the diamond to the right of strip and load channel strip. Now let's type in kick and start previewing. Every sound's very different. And once we find something we like or something close, we can click on the E button to open the track inspector and now we can go through and modify EQ settings and the combination of channel strip settings. I'm adding a little bit more tape saturation. We can move channels by going up to the channel name and moving across to the next channel. And once again, load the channel strip, clicking on the diamond and typing in a search. It's quite a nice snare drum. Let's try something different. Going up to an overhead. That sounds quite good. But I'm dropping the volume because I notice it's made the track louder. And that makes our ears think that it sounds better. So a good thing to do is drop it back to the level it was before or even lower and see if you still think it sounds better. I'm just doing a few other quick things like panning the hi-hats and just moving the level around a little bit. Another interesting scenario about having individual channels coming out into Cubase is that we can apply individual effects to each channel. I've right mouse click on the snare and I'm adding an effects channel to the snare track. I'm going to go through and just type in reverb and look at all the reverbs that I have available to me. I'm going to select Revelation. Now we can preview different presets inside of Revelation over the top of our snare drum. Search for something a little bit shorter. That's good, but there's quite a midi tone to that reverb. And the advantage of doing things inside a Cubase is now I can open up the inspector and... Use the EQ to interrogate the frequencies to find out where the trouble is. So we've gone from Simon Phillips' grooves to Alan Morgan's sound. And now we can even go straight back into Groove Agent SE4 and continue to shape our kit from inside the instrument itself. It's a very, very flexible way of working. I left your truck.